Ok, I will show you how I mix the color of my beaches using this finished 90 by 150 cm oil painting as an example. I'm going to try to mix the colors of this beach again. I use liquid light gel as a medium. It dries quickly and is very suitable for large surfaces. Titanium white and brilliant yellow for the lightest part of the beach just below the dunes where the sun shines brightly. Here we go. Brilliant yellow is quite an intense color, so you only need a little bit to give the white just a tan. close enough. We lower the camera to the horizontal strip just below the stretch of beach with the most sun. The color of the sand is already getting a bit darker here. To mix it we need the color I just added, sepia. You can clearly see how the sepia pushes back the brilliant yellow, creating a softer, less saturated color. With the use of sepia in this mixture, you run the risk of losing the color in your beach. To prevent that, I add a tiny bit of burnt sienna. This mixture is all about a subtle balance between the different colors. A little too much sepia and it becomes colorless. Too much burnt sienna and it becomes too red. Okay, this is about the right color. The next color is again a little darker, so more sepia and burnt sienna. Darkening the foreground makes it look like a cloud is hanging over the beach, casting its shadow on the foreground. The result is that the viewer's gaze is drawn even more to the row of dunes in the distance. Anything that catches the light will stand out. Still a little too light. That's it. The color of the beach is not only determined by the light, but also by the amount of water it has absorbed. The wetter, the darker, until it's almost blue. Indigo blue is great to pull the color I've already mixed a bit towards the blue end of the spectrum. I often use it to give the mix a tinge of color without being obtrusive. A little darker. Close enough. The cat wants to come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming.
Finally, I'm going to mix the color of the shadows in the dunes. These types of subdued shades can quickly become gray and dull, when in reality they do have color. In this case, I'll add a little purple violet, which will prevent the shadows from becoming dead spots in my painting. Perhaps this painting is an even clearer example of shadows on the sand tending towards purple. So much for my recipe, which is based on the color of the Dutch beaches. It's possible that the beaches where you live have a different color. My advice would be to experiment a lot. Add a bit of green, use Van Dyck's brown instead of sepia, try superimposing transparent layers and so on. Just keep painting 